What is going on, travelers? Today we're going to the Great Wall of China. That's right. We're going to the Great Wall of China. And I'm going to show you something very special. I've been going to the Great Wall for years. And something happened on this particular trip that's never happened to me before. Usually there's about a million people that visit the Great Wall when I go. But on this particular trip, you could see I was the only one there. There is nobody here, literally nobody here. You might be saying, how is that possible, Jay? How is that possible? Well, the unique story of this adventure was I took my team that was with me to the Great Wall and it was closed. Yes, it was closed for something. I, I don't exactly know what, what for. And our driver's relative works there, is one of the security guards there or something. And he said, give me 30 minutes and I'll get you on the wall. No problems. And so sure enough, this one person powered up everything, got us on the wall and we enjoyed the great wall all to ourselves about six of us for about three hours and the best part the best part of the great wall is getting down there are several ways to get down from the great wall you could take a cable car you could take what they call a chairlift that you see a lot uh, at ski resorts or you could take this way this is like the toboggan ride down the great wall now unfortunately Maybe it was for the better. I had two people in front of me that were going extremely slow because they were nervous about going too fast and flying off because once this thing picks up speed, I mean, it just goes and goes and goes. And forgive me for the video. I didn't know I was going to be a YouTuber or have a YouTube channel. This was just kind of recorded. Uh, on an older device that I just was trying to hold and trying to steer at the same time. So the sound is just, it's so bad that I just had to do a voiceover. But I wanted to get this out so y'all could see that this is one of the ways you can go down the Great Wall of China and it's fantastic. I have done this about three times and it's it's fantastic it is absolutely fantastic so sit back and enjoy and watch uh, me slide down the great wall <laughs> and almost hit this poor woman in front of me several times that's right that's right that's right that's right
Now, some of the fascinating things about the Great Wall is you park in a certain parking lot, you take a bus to another stop, then you've got to walk a little bit uphill, and then you get to choose how you want to go to the top. You could take a cable car, which holds about, I want to say, eight to ten people. You could take a chairlift like you see at ski mountains and things like that. That holds one or two people. It'll take you up to one section of the wall. At least this is the section where I always go. And once you get up there, you can spend as much time as possible. There are a few little super small little convenience people that are standing there with water to buy and then you know then you can go down uh whichever way but you have to pay for each way and and where you want to go but yeah there you have it jaywalking the planet um my trip one of my trips to the great wall if i ever get back i think i'll do a better better video because i, I never thought i'd have a channel Never thought that this would be something I would put up on a YouTube channel. Just something I would keep at home. So, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. I'll catch you next time. But who knows where. <laughs>